Today, I'm going to explain the differences between traditional and Roth retirement accounts and some strategies that you could use to build wealth. Here's the story of two best friends, Tom and Rachel. They're both 30 years old and wish to retire at age 65. Tom likes saving money to traditional retirement accounts because he thinks he's smarter by avoiding taxes today, where Rachel likes to contribute to Roth retirement accounts, and she believes that she's smarter to pay the tax today so that later she can withdraw the money tax-free. Both Tom and Rachel make $100,000, and after doing detailed budgets, they find that their living expenses are both $67,500. So let's dive into Tom's scenario here where his gross income's 100,000. He contributes $10,000 to his traditional 401k or retirement account, and that is a deduction, so it reduces his taxable income to 90,000. He then pays 25% in tax, which is 22,500 bucks, leaving his net income at $67,500, and which is exactly what his living expenses are. Then we have Rachel, also making a gross income of $100,000. And because she's contributing to the Roth, she does not get any tax deductions today. So her taxable income remains at that $100,000 mark. She then also pays 25% tax, just like Tom, but her tax bill is $25,000, $2,500 more than Tom's. And then her net income leaves her at $75,000. She then contributes $7,500 to her Roth retirement account, leaving her with uh, living expenses of $67,500, exactly the same as Tom. So at the end of the day, Tom is contributing $10,000, which he has not paid tax on yet, to his traditional retirement accounts, while Rachel is paying $7,500 of money that has already been taxed to her Roth retirement accounts. Now, let's assume that these two continue to do this same exact strategy for the next 35 years. And let's assume that they're both invested in globally diversified portfolios using low-cost index funds to represent the market return of a bunch of different asset classes. And then they're also reinvesting their dividends and periodically rebalancing these portfolios. And after all of this, get annualized nominal returns of, let's just assume hypothetically, 8%. So after 35 years of doing this strategy, Tom is going to end up with $1,723,168. Rachel, on the other hand, is going to end up with $1,292,376. Tom thinks that he's smarter than Rachel for making contributions to the traditional retirement account, but Rachel knows that as Tom needs to withdraw the money, he's going to have to pay taxes. So really for planning purposes, assuming Tom to pays 25% in taxes, he, after paying tax, is also going to end up with exactly $1,292,376. So it is true that if your tax rate is identical going into your retirement account as it is withdrawing, Traditional retirement accounts and Roth retirement accounts are exactly the same. So you'll ask, well, then which one is better for me or really doesn't it matter? And actually, it does matter. There's a bunch of different strategies around this. The most obvious being that you want to pay the lowest tax rate possible. So if you're early in your career and your income is low today, maybe it's more advantageous for you to pay tax now and then take advantage of those free withdrawals in the future. On the contrary, maybe you're in the middle of your career and during some of the highest earning years and you want to start taking that deduction today because in retirement, your income might be lower. It's important to understand too that withdrawals from traditional retirement accounts count as income, even if you're retired and currently not working. So for planning purposes, it's important to understand that if you're making withdrawals of large sums from your traditional accounts, this is going to count as income and potentially have other ramifications, such as making your Social Security taxable or making you ineligible for other types of programs. 
It's important to remember the behavioral side too, because Tom retired at age 65 with 1.7 million, thinking that he had way more money than what he really had. So being able to withdraw that money tax-free is a huge advantage so that you know exactly how much you have and how much you can plan with. So at the end of the day, could using some of these strategies to weave in and out of Roth and traditional retirement accounts help build more wealth for you? Absolutely, but the most important thing is to always take advantage of these long-term retirement vehicles, invest in low-cost, well-diversified portfolios, and number one, continue to save. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Oh, 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 oh,